I, I knew he was alive. I, I, a bunch of people were wondering, you know, obviously, what's happening with Glenn. I knew he was alive. But this is Season 6, Episode 7 of The Walking Dead, titled Heads Up. And I know a ton of people are super happy. There are probably some people who aren't so happy that, you know, it was like, oh, he died, but, you know, then he wasn't dead and stuff like that. But I knew he wasn't dead because I said it in my review. They did the top-down angle, or they didn't do the top-down angle, and I was like, if they don't do that, and these are the creators of the show, they can make any angle they want to to show us what's happening. And all they did was that ambiguous angle where it's like, oh, it's, it's his intestines, but they didn't do the top-down angle. I was like, it's totally fake. I know he's alive. And, of course, that's exactly what it was. Like, one of the big scenes they do is like, oh, here's the top-down angle, and it's Nick's body on top of... Um, right on top of Glenn so of course he's alive that wasn't surprising to me it was just like nope they didn't you know I it, anything's possible with the show of course but it's like considering how it happened it would have been really dumb and they don't do stupid stuff on the show it's like these are really good writers they wouldn't have a death as stupid as that like for Nick that death was great because it was like he he finally hit his you know breaking point and he killed himself his death in that in that episode actually worked and it was well done and he just couldn't handle it and that made sense if glenn had actually died then that would have been really stupid it was like oh nick killed himself and he fell on glenn and glenn gets killed and that's how he dies that would have been really really dumb and the writers of this show are not dumb so i knew that he wasn't dead it's good to finally see that and have you know confirmation that he's coming back they didn't hold it off for too long and really, as far as uh, the timeline goes, it hasn't been that much time because, you know, kind of how they did things, it was basically, you know, Glenn died, then we had a flashback, and then we had the episode with Maggie, and then the last episode where, you know, they were kind of off, so who knows as far as, you know, where exactly in the timeline that actually was. But it was about a full day. He was technically there for an entire day, just under that dumpster which is crazy he kills you know the zombies basically in a full circle he kills them you know they get distracted eventually over time some other random noises and stuff probably from uh the ambush from the last episode actually it probably you could hear a bunch of machine guns going off even if it was far away that would you know draw up the zombies so it's like all right he's been under there he finally escapes and then Enid's just there automatically like hey heads up here's some water and so it's like all right well now we have this weird little adventure with Enid and Glenn together, and she's, you know, they kind of show now, like, I don't know, I guess she's not a part of the Wolves, because she, she's kind of just on her own, she, seemingly, she made it seem, especially from the dialogue when they were at the house, she made it seem like she was a part of the Wolves, that's why it, it seemed like she said we, and she was about to, you know, say something to Carl, and then he kind of cut her off, but I guess that's not the case, because it seems like she's just, kind of going off on her own just to do whatever and you know we even see the JSS again in this episode when she's in the little restaurant so I guess she's not a part of the wolves it's still not a hundred percent sure because there was still that weird dialogue where she said we so unless she's totally insane and she's like seeing people <laughs> she could technically still be a part of the wolves or she could be a part of this other group she may have thought that it was you know her actual group and then she found out like oh it's these other random crazy people so she could be a part of the other group and you know that's how that's playing out she was never a part of the wolves but she could easily still be a part of the other group based on her saying we and she technically didn't know uh who was attacking alexandria at the time so still kind of up in the air because she said we it just threw me off it's like that can't mean nothing at this point she said we for sure so, she's not a wolf, but she could easily be with this other group that we haven't seen yet, or, you know, don't really know about yet. But she does decide to go back with Glenn, so I don't know what that really says. Maybe she's not in the group whatsoever. Maybe it was just, like, a weird fluke or something like that. Maybe I completely heard it wrong. I don't know. But she does decide to go back with Glenn. Ultimately, they do kind of have to give up actually going to Alexandria because... Of course, they show things from the outside, which I really like because we've never actually seen Alexandria from, like, a big wide shot. It's always just, like, you see the front gate, and that's pretty much it. Or you see some side part of the wall and everything, and that's it. But we got to see, like, a giant shot where we see, like, I didn't even know it was like this, but there was, like, a metal wall 
before the actual wall, like the secondary, it was like the expansion part, we got to see the half-built wall. And I was like, that's kind of cool that they even bothered to show that. So it was nice seeing that big outside, um, which we might see a lot more of considering the ending to this episode, who knows. But I like that opening shot. They have the green balloons and everything, so they use those as their signal. And it was pretty cool. It's like, you know, here's this signal. It's kind of like, you know, this is actually really cool. It's like everyone sees these balloons. Of course, Maggie instantly knows that it's Glenn, and it's like things are kind of happy. And then we have, you know, kind of our little tease that was happening throughout the episode where they'd show the tower. Little piece of wood would fall off. Little piece of wood would fall off. And then the end of this episode, we get like this happy image. It's like, hey, Glenn is actually alive. And here comes the entire tower crashing onto the gate and bringing in all of these zombies. Everyone, well, not everyone's going to die, but somebody's not making it out. It's going to be the mid-season finale. I don't know what in the world is going to take place, but Walking Dead does not mess around with their mid-season finale. So it's going to be really crazy. I'm looking forward to it for sure. Then we have pretty much everything else that happened in this episode. Morgan, he's so close to being exiled it's unbelievable like first they have the little conversation it's like all right i let those people go already you know made everyone upset then he gets busted by carol and it's like all right now they know he's going to be hiding a wolf which considering you know what's happening probably won't have a lot of time to talk about that until we get back to the show um i don't know if it comes back i hope i think it comes back in january not february but they probably won't have time to talk about how he has a wolf locked up and everything until uh, the next year. But he's really close to screwing himself over. Like he's, <clears throat> excuse me, he's already done it by letting the people live. And they have the conversation and Michonne's like, it's not so simple. Like, oh, all life is precious. It's not as simple as that. And I know he learned that from um, Eastman in the other episode, but both of them are kind of wrong, to be totally honest. Like, it's just not that simple. Like, if someone... Like, with the wolves, they're... Them living would just mean they're gonna go out and clearly kill other people because they're insane. They attacked an entire town full of people. And it was kind of just to do it. Just to kill them and get whatever resources they could because they'd rather do that than help other people. So, it says a lot right there. And Morgan's like, oh, life is precious. Let them, you know, let them walk out of there. Even the one guy, you know, he actually got a gun and everything. So, I don't know. Like, I've, I'm, of course, on, you know, Rick and everyone else's side where it's like, it's not that he's, I don't think he should just go around, like, blowing people away. But when it's something like that where, like, even Carol says, like, they were literally burning people alive. That in itself just says enough. Like, these are the type of people that you kind of have to kill because either they're going to end up killing you later or you'll let them live now and they'll just kill who knows how many more really good people like actually just innocent people simply trying to survive so i was definitely on their side and then of course uh him getting busted and trying to save the wolf i don't mind him saving that one wolf because i think he's gonna keep him there i don't think he's just gonna be like you're you know you're cured and i'm gonna let you go but at the same time it's morgan so that probably was his plan but now he's busted which, like I said, doesn't really matter based on, you know, based on the ending. But that was pretty cool, too. I'm looking forward to that coming back up because he was already kind of close to them sort of exiling him to begin with in this episode. And now he's been busted. I thought there would be a lot more conversation, but, you know, Tower Falls and all, you know, everything just kind of swarms in. No real time for that. So we'll see that next year. But uh, something else really awesome just the crazy scene and this was actually there are two things involved in this one is the fact that rick kind of did something where that he normally wouldn't do which is he, as much as he said he doesn't care about the people of alexandria he made a clear decision in this episode and it's like oh i had the chance you know i could have just let your son die and i could have got the car and i could have let the walkers away and everything but he didn't do that and it shows that Despite all this big talk where it's like, it's us and them and, you know, stuff like that, where it's like, he still says that they're so separated, it shows that on the inside, he does actually care about these people. He'll say it out loud, like, you know, it's us, we'll keep this to ourselves, like when you're talking to Michonne, it'll be our people, and 
it's like he was keeping that keeping them disconnected but based on that action where he saves um i totally can't think of the guy's name but he totally saves his life he was trying to be like batman spider-man with the grappling hook and everything which is a good concept like i understand of course he was just trying to help and you know he was kind of doing okay if he'd gone faster of course he would have made it but just in itself the fact that the building was all messed up and kind of how they showed it you know he kind of just got it on the grate it just happened to be where he hooked it just broke off but it was so risky in itself and then that led to other people risking their lives and Rick was all angry and stuff. It's like, you know, if you had a plan, you come to me and it's like, well, would you have even listened? And of course, Rick wouldn't have done that because of how he, deep down, it's like he cares. But once it comes to action, it's kind of like, you know, if it's simple, at least like he could help, he'll help people if he needs to. But other than that, he'll be like, nope, it's us and it's them. And that's how he'll constantly separate it during like the really simple moments. But when it gets really heightened, kind of like, you know, the next episode, which is going to be our mid-season finale, he's going to care for everyone that's there because he does give a crap about anyone and everyone who's still living. So I don't know what role that's really going to play in the next episode, but I think it's going to be important because he made that decision in this episode when he could have easily just got in a car, like he said, and let all the zombies away, everything's fine. That's all there is to it. I mean, it wouldn't be that simple because... I mean, I know he could say he'd lead him away, but then it'd be like he'd have to find a way to get back, which wouldn't exactly be simple. But it was a really good moment where they kind of glance over it and it's just like, oh, he gave the you know he gave the wrong answer because the real answer is that he actually does care. So I'm looking forward to that kind of playing a bit of a role in the next episode. Um, something else that was really big, like it didn't do anything in this episode, but. I don't really know what's going to end up happening with Carl because there is something that can happen and you know they had they have the scene and he's walking he doesn't know what's happening behind him and there's one thing and I'm not obviously I won't spoil what it is but it's something really important uh, that takes place in the comic books that does happen in Alexandria and Based on how this episode ends and what they show, what you know the mid-season finale is going to be, I think I know what might happen with Carl's character. And it's nothing like super drastic. It's not like you know he's going to die. But there is, I don't know how it would even work with like live action. But there's something that goes on uh, with his character. It's totally different, obviously, and the guy. It's all just different ways. But it's just something that can happen with his character that is just really weird. Like, it's just a really weird thing. It's like, it's it's not exactly important, to be totally honest. I guess I shouldn't say it's, like, important or anything. But it's just a crazy thing that can happen. And it's just, like, it's just sort of, like, in the moment type of thing. It would be really crazy to see it. But ultimately, in the long run, it's kind of like, oh, that happened. And then, you know, we kind of get past it. But... I don't know if that'll happen. It's still just one of those things when it first happens, it's just like, holy crap, I didn't see that one coming. But I don't know what to expect in this next episode. I don't know if they're going to do it. I don't know what my face will look like if they do. Like, my face, when I even thought of it, was pretty insane. And uh, for any of you guys, if you don't watch The Talking Dead, Chris Hardwick, sometimes he mentions stuff about the comics because he read, reads, um, he's caught up on the comics as well. He mentioned the same thing, and it was just like, anyone who's read the comics knows what I'm talking about. And of course, like I said, I won't spoil it, but it's just really weird. Like, I don't know how it would play out in live action or what, but that, if they do it, it'll be really weird to see that happen. But I'm looking forward to it, whether it does or doesn't, and I kind of want it to because it's so weird. But, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to this mid-season finale. I don't think anyone, I don't think anyone important will die. They might get separated again. We might have, we might have another split where the group gets split up, kind of like uh, with the prison thing. We might have that again on a bit of a smaller scale where it's not like half the season they were kind of looking for each other and stuff. It might be like an episode or two where they get split up and that introduces us to 
maybe another sanctuary type of place or something. Not like Terminus Sanctuary, but just like an actual another city or little town that's possibly out there. Or maybe it, it just, you know, Alexandria's just gone and they make their own, you know, they make a whole new town all over again. And then maybe, you know, who knows, maybe the wolves come back in or this other crazy group comes in Alexandria, wipes them out, and it's like, hey, now we have this new place. And then, you know, they try to come back to Alexandria. Something crazy like that, I don't know. But I'm really looking forward to the midseason finale. It's always really crazy. We still don't know. Um, like, one thing that was answered, because Glenn was alive in this episode, there is no scene with him on a walkie-talkie, so he was not the person in the last episode, which I totally thought he was, because I, I just was like, well, I know he's alive. I just figured it was him, because I thought it could be anyone, because he, you know, if he was actually trapped out there for so long, he, would, he wouldn't sound like himself, because, like we saw, he was, like, struggling just to have a little bit of water, so I thought it made perfect sense where it wouldn't sound like him, because he'd be, like, almost dehydrated, and it would just be like, help, like he was about to pass out. But it wasn't him at all, so there's someone else out there with the walkie-talkie. I would assume it could be um, the guy that stole Daryl's motorcycle, but I thought Daryl still, I thought Daryl just had that on his vest the whole time, so I don't think there was another walkie-talkie inside the bag or anything, but I could be wrong um, that he even had it, you know, still on his chest throughout that entire episode. But, the, you know, we still have Abraham, Sasha, and Daryl kind of, outside of everything that's happening right now and I don't know if we should expect them in the mid-season finale because everything's centered on Alexandria but at the same time they could easily do sort of the side story and we get to see everything that's happening because both sides um, if they do focus on Sasha, Daryl, and Abraham that could easily lead to um, like another revelation like we have everything going on in Alexandria whatever happens there you know, big surprise one, and then side story with the three of them, that could easily be, like, big surprise number two. So, they might get back to Alexandria, because that's what they were doing to begin with, or they might actually go to whoever was calling to them on uh, the walkie-talkie. But I'm really looking forward to this mid-season finale. There's only one thing, it's the Carl thing. That's the only thing I can really think of, as far as what can happen in the next episode. And I really, I just don't know what to think about that. He might end up killing someone, which, I mean, we've seen him kill some people before. But he might actually have his own little, like, nemesis if they don't end up actually killing each other or something crazy. If he doesn't kill a kid, and I know Carl, like, we all know Carl isn't going to die. That would just be insane. But if he doesn't kill him in this next episode, but he, you know, like, Carl does get shot at. He might have, like, a weird... It'll be, like, a weird rivalry thing where maybe that kid will, like, leave Alexandria, you know, in all the chaos, and it's like, I gotta find him, and it'll kind of drive Carl to find him, and then it'll be, like, a weird rivalry type of thing. But looking forward to this next episode for sure. I really love this one. Um, despite being really confident that Glenn was alive, it's still great to see him alive, and just to see his... Um, you know, him and Enid as, like, a pairing in this episode, never would have expected that. You know, never would have seen that one coming at all, because it's just, like, certain characters you just don't really think are even going <laughs> to have scenes together. And they pretty much have a whole episode where Glenn is, you know, he's kind of with Enid. It's like, hey, I'm, you know, Maggie wouldn't leave you, so I'm not going to leave you. And then eventually, it's not about Maggie anymore. It's just about Glenn doing something good to help someone in try to bring her back from this sort of separation that she's forcing on herself when she could easily just be with everyone in Alexandria. So it was a really fun episode. Looking forward, like I said, to this finale. Um, very curious if we are going to get to see what happens with Sasha, Daryl, and Abraham. Because I don't know if, you know, if that'll lead to us getting some information on this other group that has, you know, all the weaponry and everything. Or maybe it'll just lead Daryl back to his crossbow and motorcycle, which would probably excite a ton of people. Which, and we all know he's going to get the, both of those back as well, but you know, I don't think it'll be that simple in the next episode, but we'll see. But I, I do want to know what you guys thought about this one, so please comment below. Let me know your favorite parts, your least favorite parts. And because Glenn is back, 
I want to know if you knew that he was going to be back. Um, there were some spoilers out there. I know that there were spoilers. I didn't bother looking at the pictures because it's kind of like, if I didn't look at them, it was still speculation. So it was kind of like, all right, he, you know, pictures on set could literally mean anything. It could just be he's talking to this person because, you know, they shoot episodes out of order sometimes or just certain scenes you film in certain ways. So you never really know. But I know there's spoilers out there, but I want to know if you were right about thinking that he was alive or if you were wrong. Because there were, of course, a ton of people who were like, like, he's dead and, like, I don't care what different angles they show and this and that. He's totally dead and stuff like that. And, and there's people like me where it's like, they just, come on. They made the show and they didn't, they only, they chose one angle on the main character's death. I just can't buy that, so... Some people thought like me, some people didn't. But I want to know um, where you lied on the fence as far as Glenn possibly living and possibly dying. And of course, how you feel about him being back in general. So please comment below, let me know. And thanks for watching.